Hello and welcome to another episode of Improv Radio. My name is Reese Davis. With me is the lovely, beautiful man, Ben Bywater. Thanks for that, Reese. That was uh, that was lovely. Um, we've got a few guests in today, so um, I'll let them introduce themselves. Take it away. Oh, hi, it's Joe. I was just, um, I wasn't sure at first if you wanted us to introduce each other or what you wanted. No, um, you can you can absolutely introduce yourself. Um, you're a firm fan favourite, so thanks for coming along again. It's, uh, it's much appreciated. Yeah. And uh, thank you for continuing to have me listed as a guest, just so that we can keep this a cash under the table deal and I don't have to pay tax. It's <laughs> quite all right, Joe. Now, who is this sitting next to you, Joe? Oh, well, uh, oh, I'll you know uh, let up. them introduce Shut themselves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Neve O'Brien. I'm new. Don't hurt me. Hi, Neve. Hi. So, Neve, the reason we've got you on is uh, you're a long time fan of the show. Um, you wrote to, to me and Reese. So, um, why don't you? Why don't you just? Do, you got your letter there. So, why don't you just read out what you wrote to us? Oh, okay. Hang on. There's a lot of <sighs> handwriting is so terrible. Hang on. So, dear Ben and Reese. You rock my we were weird. I was very drunk when I wrote this. I think it says you rock my world. I think your podcast is well good. Give me a space on it. Dot dot dot. I didn't actually put ellipses here. I I just wrote dot dot dot. Um, dramatic pause again. Dramatic pause. Written down. Um, or else. Um. And then the page cuts off and then there's, um, starting with a new pen, um, it says, sorry about that, um, let me try over. Dear Ben and Reese, really love what you do, hoping to collaborate with you soon, but kind regards, Neve O'Brien. Now Neve, I, I noticed that uh, you missed out the fan fiction there. I know you're a little bit embarrassed to read what you wrote, so um, Joe, could you, could you take that piece of paper off Neve and read the fan fiction? I can indeed. That was the sound of me uh, taking the paper. I don't know why I sent all of this unedited to you, but... Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. read the sex scene, Joe. It's, it's not for human consumption. Okay. Reese was sat by the water, but not just by any water. By Ben, <laughs> by water. <laughs> they, they sat fondling each other's nipples like the last <laughs> ice gem in a multi-pack. Oh, Reese said Ben. Yes, Ben, said Reese. I have to tell you something. What, Ben? I want to start a podcast with you. I thought you'd never ask, said Ben. I think I've lost track of characters. Probably should have done voices. It's amazing that you put all of this detail. Look, it's very important. It's very important to remember that Saying I want to start a podcast with you is our generation's I want to have a baby with you. It's a very deep emotional moment, Joe, in the narrative. Yeah. Okay? This is yeah. but this is but a fragment um, of a longer work. Yeah, I, I actually can't read any of the rest of this because uh, this has to go up on YouTube and we don't want to get demonetized for I know this um, is for all of the uh, for all of the, the urine play. I know this is supposed to be a fiction, but where is the fiction so far? Um, it's, the it's fiction is that you two are both able to grow very uh. full moustaches. Ah, that's true. They're both very bad at growing moustaches, thanks to my extensive research. That was that was my break with reality. <laughs> Plymouth, we're in Plymouth today, and that's that's because our studio was taken over by rats, and then the exterminator beat Ben up, and we're too scared to go back. I see. So. So, um, I'm sorry that you had to relive that moment again, Ben. Just we, I'm well, sorry, we that can sounds relive like it really again. traumatic. We can relive it again. I know you guys weren't there, so uh, we did have our recording equipment with us. Can you play that for us, Ben? Rats, 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 rats noises, rat noises, rat noises, rat noises everywhere, rat noises. Um, rat noises. so that's going to be rat 200 noises. pounds. Right, no problem. Um, Reese, could you, could you pay the guy, please? No, I don't have 200 pounds, Ben. Well, you should. I mean, we agreed. S- someone someone better give me 200 pounds. 
All right, mate. I mean, that's literally what we're doing right now, isn't it? That's what we're sorting out. I don't, I don't have the money, Ben. You want me to get my mates? Who are um, you calling me? <laughs> this is my mum. She doesn't like it when people don't pay me. My name's Rhonda. I hope you're not messing around with my boy. Right, no one's messing around with your boy, Rhonda. Who are you calling a boy? He's a legitimate businessman, is my Ronnie. Yeah, I'm 36. <gasps> Wait, um, Man. sorry, no. hi. I'm, I'm just a passerby who can overhear this conversation. Did you say your name is Rhonda and you named your son Ronnie? <laughs> yeah. What's the okay, problem? bye. <laughs> what a strangely unhelpful man to walk in on this conversation. <laughs> Regardless, you're paying us your rent. Ben, I'm going out the fire exit. Can you deal with this? No, I can't deal with this. Reese, give us a hand. Take this pipe, Mum. Oh, it's, it's all right, Ronnie. That, that fire escape hasn't been secured since 1963. It's a sure fire death trap. Fire death trap. Oh my god, Ben, it won't open. Reese, the, the, they've got weapons. Reese, Reese, leave. Get out, get out of the fire escape. Oh. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> Bang. Kapow. <laughs> Swing. <laughs> Dink. Dunk. Dink. Right. right, if you're not going to pay us, we're having this studio. What? Mr. No, what? Foley, oh, bring studio. more hilariously sound affected weapons. Dink. Boing. Clonk. Clab up. A wooga. A wooga. Give me the lease. Give me the lease. Yeah, and that, that clip basically summarizes why we're here now, not, not still in Dover. It's not a bad. town it's, known it's, for it's... a no nonsense approach to its weapon noises. Mm, mm. It's the airing cupboard at a, at a B&B, but, you know, it does the job, actually. Is it an Airbnb it or an airing cupboard at a normal B&B, or, finally, an airing cupboard at an Airbnb? You'll have to ask Ben. I didn't book it. I'm glad you asked, Neve. Um, it's, it's actually a normal airing cupboard in a normal B&B, um, but I'm going to ask everyone to keep their voices down, because, I mean, technically I haven't booked, per se, the, the airing cupboard. You can't really do that. What I've done is waited until no one else um, was, was near the front door. Um, but if everyone just keeps their voice down, I think the acoustics in here are great. As long as Reese and I continue to be able to touch knees, I'm happy wherever. <laughs> <laughs> ben, do you want to lead us on to our next segment? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'm sure everyone listening is very, very eager to hear how me and Reese have continued to get on in our search for Britain's biggest ham. I sure am. Thanks, Joe. Um, so, Reese, why don't you sum up so far what's what's happened? I would absolutely love to, but I know Joe is so excited to tell you that I can't possibly take that away from him. So give us the synopsis so far, Joe. So, Ben and Reese were on the search to find Britain's biggest ham. Just when they thought they had reached the end of their journey, having ventured through a cave of many trials, and reaching the place where Britain's biggest ham should be, they found it not there, but in its place. A note. A note which read something that I'm going to let Ben say. So to summarise, we um, we got the note. We um, we had a look at the note, and what it read was um, basically it was it was sort of quite cryptic, really. Um, but the person had written, whoever wrote the note had written, "I've got the ham, ha ha ha." Um, it's it's someone you've met before, and then oddly they'd written signature, and then when I looked down to see who had signed it, the uh, the signature had been torn off. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's get into the next episode, innit? Britain's biggest ham. All right, guys. Um, so it's been a while since we last recorded. We've been on a bit of a downward spiral. We find ourselves in a pub in um, Gloucester, actually, of all places, because we found a cheap place to stay. Um, we're just not sure who could possibly have taken the hat. Ben, who do you have on this list of suspects? Who can we add here? Ben? 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 
now I open my eyes, I see Ben is not here. It's just me and these two people I met at the pub. Hi, I'm Terry. Hi, Terry. So this is Terry. I met him uh, as he was downing six Jaeger bombs. Do you want me to uh, just talk into here, yeah? Talking to here? Talking to what? Into that? Talking to the... Yeah, yeah. Talking to this, yeah? What? You... That's not hygienic. Right. Excuse me, is this... Is th- are, are we being recorded right now? Are these microphones? Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I run a, a radio show. Oh. Well, my name is Gemma O'Flockerty. And I am an investigative journalist. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's perfect. Now, listen up, Gemma O'Flockerty. Um, we were looking for this ham, my friend who isn't here anymore, and me. We were looking, and we, we got to a place, and it's not there, and we need to find the big ham. It's Gemma O'Flockerty. Do you want to get sued? Not particularly. I haven't got any money. Remember, Flockerty, no, with an F. I'm, I might not be a big shot investigative journalist, but I, I am. thought the best place to start would be to find your friend first, as he apparently has the suspects list. Well, is I, this I, I, possibly some sort of EU-backed conspiracy? I love a good conspiracy. I wouldn't know so much about that. Uh, possibly, I mean. Uh, but I, I don't know where Ben is. We've just come down from Scotland. Um, I, I know he was there in Scotland. I guess I lost him somewhere on the way. Did you check... Uh, this, did you stop at any service stations? Yeah. Did you drink did the you water? Did you make sure that you... Um, oh. Didn't leave him by the vending machines? By the vending machines. The water Um, in service stations is heavily laced with psychoactive chemicals so that they can control the truck drivers. For real? Look it up. I mean, we used the bathroom. I know Ben fell into the toilet head first by mistake because he slipped. He's probably in one of the reprogramming centres right now. Do you know where these places are? I haven't got that far yet, but I'm working on it. Wait, did Um, you say reprogramming centres? Absolutely. Everything is a conspiracy. I, I forgot to uh, mention, by the way, that my surname um, is Matthews, Terry Matthews, and my dad, Bernie, he, um, he said that he's starting up a reprogramming wing just next to the chicken farm. Where's the chicken farm? Um, it's in the Bernard Matthews factory. So what are they doing to my friend? Uh, they're probably going to try and turn him into a turkey. I mean, he has so little meat. He's such a scrawny, disgusting man. He's not going to be very fit for farming. Yeah, but we need meat to make the dinosaur ham centers. What the outside the is ham. The inside is a dinosaur shaped out of reconstituted turkey meat made out of reconstituted human man. This goes all the way to the top. Take, you know, me, do you want take me to, me to the Bernard uh... Matthews Museum. Not museum. Okay. Farm. Factory, please. We're going via the museum, <laughs> though. Not it's a museum. fun day out. <laughs> Well, that was a fun trip around the museum. Here we are at the factory. I forgot to tell you, I can also travel via Batman 1960s title card. Who's this guy in the top hat and the purple cape? Is he a bit of a pop culture ripoff? What, you mean the questionnaire? Like, uh, Wally, Wally Winker. Oh yes, Wally Winker. I was thinking of someone else. I'm just reading his name tag, Wally Winker. Follow me... And you might find yourself in a world of all thoughts. Willy Wanker, where's my friend? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, um. um, I believe my name is was Wally Winker. Sorry, uh, I was just choking on a biscuit up. there. I find this very, very serious indeed. Not at all silly. Um, who is your friend, good sir? His name is Ben Bywater. He's, you'll, you'll recognise him. He's an incredibly ugly man. Oh, incredibly ugly. Um, weighs about seven kilos and um, <laughs> smells like he's recently been to Scotland. That's him. That's him. Oh, uh, you just missed him. He, uh, he got the bus to uh, Wensleydale. W- Wensleydale? That, that's, that's not That's a like place, ben. isn't it? It's a cheese. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a place. I would expect so. That's not like Ben. That's not like Ben, Miss O. Haggerty. Flockerty. Yes. <laughs> it's not, that isn't my friend. <laughs> or or it, it's not his mind, at least. So he's Whoa. being controlled, you say? What have you done to my friend, Wally Winker? All I did was took him on a, 
a, a trip through my magical turkey factory. Show me. Is your magical turkey factory. factory? Is that code for EU negotiations? Uh, it's actually code for my penis. Uh oh. It's worse than we expected. This goes all the way to the top. I'm not sure it where the top is. It goes all the way to the tip. <laughs> And with that bad pun, we'll end it there. We're going to come back next time where maybe we do find Ben. <laughs> but uh, we must get on. We do have a special guest today. Uh, you know, these two guys, Neve and Joe, they're guest hosts. So there's an incredible difference here. We do have a guest. Uh, Joe, you decided to bring someone on. Who is it? Yeah, I, I actually did. Um, as many of you know, I actually... Um, I got my start in true crime podcasts, uh, but I thought that everyone seemed to be going for murder-based ones, so I went for a different one, which is, um, it's the star of my podcast, all about the, uh, all about the Leamington Spa cattle, um, rustling ring, and, uh, it's, um, Ardlo Hanlon, not the comedian, a different one. Come yeah, on in. Adel, thank you. Don't be shy. Thank you. It's it's uh, it's nice to be here. Yeah. So, um, um Adel, obviously the last we spoke, um you were currently in a position that it, we didn't know what way the jury was going to decide whether you got away with cattle rustling because you decided to marry all the cattle and put them into a a big cattle sex cult. Can well, you tell you know, us what was I, the I, outcome I, of the uh I object game. to the I object to the use of the term sex cult. The marriage was entirely and completely for um, tax and rustling purposes. I would like it to be said on the record that I have no sexual inclination whatsoever towards those animals, um, and this was purely a legal stance that I took. Um, yeah, and um, the the court they um, agreed to differ with me. Um, they, uh, they've, they've made their decision. Um, I have been rustling, um, in more ways than one, but, uh, I also don't believe that they were just or correct. So it's, I'm going to move on to an appeal. Now, now we do have a statement from the judge in audio form, just to hammer it on home, just to, uh, upset our guest a little bit, get some more emotion. Uh, let's hit that play button. Oh God. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm in the wrong oh, room. Sorry. I'm in oh, the wrong room. Oh, oh, where's, which one of us is where's this Where's McDonald's? Judge? Where's McDonald's? Oh, I'm, I just want... Um, can I have a Big uh, Mac? Can I have a Big Mac, please? Uh, um, uh, you're guilty. Bye. Powerful, powerful stuff. So really hard hitting stuff there. Yeah, I was really like, I was very, my case was very low down on the list of priorities at Cheltenham Crown Court that week. Um, you know, it was considered an entirely civil matter, despite what the tabloids and several broadsheets and the uh, British Farmers Journal have decided to report on. I believe it's also featured on BuzzFeed. Um, but no, I, I feel that I feel that my appeal will be successful um, and that uh, it's, you know, it, it, it'll all blow over, you know. Um, obviously, uh, the um, other Adlo Hanlon was unhappy with the uh, associated um, mark on his good name. So for on behalf of both O'Hanlons, I am uh, I am keen to clear my name in, in a court of law. Um, indeed. But um, yes, but thank you for bringing it up. Thank you for bringing it up, Joe. It's, uh, it's been a difficult time for the O'Hanlons. Ben, you've been awfully silent and definitely here the whole time. Do you have any questions for our guest? Uh, no, not really. Um, the the entire situation has been a, a, a real uh, emotional roller coaster for me, and and to be honest, I, I'm I'm still just soaking it all in. Um, but yeah, no, no, no real questions. Um, thanks, thanks for asking, though. I do have here your um, your half cattle, half human son. Produced as part of this sex cult, uh, the best o kind of cult. What do you have to say to Hanlon O'Hanlon, Adlo Hanlon? Not that one. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, I am. Um, That's me, Adlo Hanlon Hanlon. Hanlon is not. This is a. This is again another lie. Hanlon is not half. 
cow. I, uh, I, I strongly, I strongly oppose this characterization of his mother. His mother just happens to be from Dublin. And that's not a fair assumption to make of any person from any part of the world. It's not Hanlon's fault so or his I, mother's I fault, indeed, that they have hoof-like feet and test? square shoulders. My lungs are itchy, Mama. Quite. Well, it's a good thing, then, that Ben already has the results. He's working. You, shouldn't, you should have known by now. Don't stand too close to the microphones. We Absolutely, can not. That Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh. Ben. The results, if you would please. Why did I ever... He really likes to ratchet up I... the tension. Why did I sign that DNA release form? Why do they want it? Stupid idol. I just, uh, I just love me some of that tension, Joe. Uh, but I can reveal, exclusively, Hanlon, oh Hanlon, is part cow. Obviously. Um, Sorry, it's, L- it's, it's Eve again. While we were all waiting yeah. with bated breath in eager <laughs> anticipation, Ardlo Hanlon just legged it. Sorry, that Ardlo Hanlon, not the famous Ardlo Hanlon. Yeah, he climbed out that window. Also, I'm still here! I'm still uh, here! Uh, uh, Actually, uh, you know what, guys? That brings us on to our next segment. Who wants to buy some crap? Who wants to win some crap? We got lots of crap for you to have, so come on now, win our crap. I love useless crap. This is actually perfect. We could sell it to a guest on the show. What we're selling today is a half cow, half human child. Okay. Oh, God. Is it like a cattle auction? I've never been to one of those. I, maybe. I've never been to one either. Possibly. I've heard they're great fun. But no. I don't think Hanlon's going to make much because he's, sorry, a genetic abomination. Now, Neve, would you like to put in a minimum offer for uh, this child? I, I would really, I would really rather not. That's I'd right. like to it's, double her offer. Not, not, not just because it's, not just because it's, you know, a half human, half cow hybrid, but also because I genuinely think it's an affront to the Lord and I've gotten a little bit sick in my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, Hanlon, I know you're right well, there. Um, it's a good thing then for you, Neve, that actually... Can we, can we just um, put... We're in an airing cupboard. Can we just put some sheets over him? We can, yeah. There just we go. because... <laughs> That's better. I thought that this would happen. Um, we do actually have some audio here from an upcoming episode of my uh, podcast about this entire controversy, in which I have an interview with the Lord himself about whether Hanlon or Hanlon is an affront. <laughs> So, um, if we could just play that audio now. Seriously, guys. Really? I mean, really. Really? Oh, my God. I just... I mean... I mean, I know I got really high that one time and invented centipedes, but you guys... You guys have issues. Serious issues. I'm just, you know, you know, you know what, you know what, fuck this, fuck it all, I am just going and I am just starting over with Venus, I am just starting over with Venus, people are sick, people are sick! Um, now listen guys, none of our guests today want to buy this hideous cow-human hybrid, but it's okay, we're going to open it up to you guys, the audience, uh, Ben, what's the number? As always, it's the number two. So if you want to buy... Then call two. What I mean, what are YouTube's monetization rules around literally selling minors into? Do I want? Do I actually want to know? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like the answer. I think it's okay as long as you don't use any bad words. And as long as you're not oh. naked while you do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure God can add in bleeps. Hey, oh, hey Reese, do I hear the phone line going off? Yeah, definitely. Okay, I'll get it. Hello? Hey. All right. Have you, do you got want, do you one want to... of them half human, half pig people? Yeah, who am I talking to? Uh, you're talking to Donny Paducci. Owner of Johnny Paducci's Paducci. human, half human meats. How much are you looking to pay for this literal child? Uh... I'm just trying to remember. What's the conversion rate from pounds to guineas? 
About 16,000 to one. All right. In that case, I'll give you 16,000 to one. Uh, we'll put a pin in that. I, I do think we can do a little bit better. All right. All right. Fine. We'll pass you yeah, over to... Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, okay. Yank my chain. Seven million dollars. Oh, God. I mean, it's okay. What do you think, Neef? Seven million? Seven I million? am deeply disturbed by the entire content of this. This is not what I expected when I was writing erotic fan fiction about two, like, boys in their mid-twenties. <laughs> okay, Neef said it's... Too little, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to hang up on you now. Thank you. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Neve, could you pick up that phone, please? Oh, um, which one? Why do, why do you have so many phones plugged just, in here? Just pick them all up. We, have so, many, we have so many guests, Neve. We have oh, so right, many okay. guests. Uh, hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, what? Hello? Oh. Do we... Is this... <laughs> Is this like working in a call centre? Are you just not allowed to hang up on people? Yeah, it, it is like that until we get an offer. Okay. What is your What's your offer for the cow thing? What? A cow? Huh? Yes, the, the cow. What are We're you taking wearing? offers. What are you wearing? Oh, um, I don't know. An old Leinster rugby jersey. Shorts. Some walking boots. Oh, okay, okay, that's enough, that's enough. Thank you, bye. Why does this always happen to me? We do get some odd guests on this show, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh. We do. Oh, I've got someone, right. I've got someone coming on over here. Hang on. Oh. Um, he- hello? Hello? Hi. I like this one. I would like to buy your cow man. You'd like to buy the cow man? Yes. Are you going to take him to a career in showbiz? No, I work at a post office. <laughs> Are you also I just going to eat this kid? for you so you don't have to get your tongue sore. God. I will trade him for 17 packs of second class stamps. Ooh, now if you bring those up to first class stamps, we might be talking here. I'll throw in a copy of Angling Times. I don't know. That's a pretty good offer, Reese. Like, stamps are going really expensive lately. Um, it, is, it is safer than money with inflation and whatnot. What, what exactly. do you think, Ben? Um, it's, it's undeniably a good offer, but I, I do feel that part of, part of me really does need to ask... What is this um, this singing post uh, postal worker planning on doing with the part cow, part human child that we've somehow found ourselves looking after? I'll put a light bulb in his mouth and a lampshade on his head and I'll use him as a human cow lamp. Is he going to be alive for that? Because I don't know, that sounds like an honest hustle. <laughs> He can eat light bulbs, right? That's what you're getting at, right? So he's fed. I mean, he's just under some towels in an airing cupboard right now. It's like, can he do much worse? <laughs> Look, I, I realise what you're saying, but I, I do really feel, Reese, as though we, we ought to be making an effort, really, to, to make sure this, this abomination has, has a better life than it does right now. Exactly, and this sounds like it to me, anyway. That's my opinion. What do you guys... What, what should we do? I um, I think take I feel, the deal. Yeah, I would take the deal. Just to get this weird kid out of here. I've still got a shit right. on his head. Tell him we'll take it. We will take it. <laughs> Hi, Ben. You're my favourite host of the Improv Radio. Oh, uh, thanks, creepy, uh, creepy singing post worker. <laughs> I don't want to sell to him, man. Okay, well, bye then. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Nina, 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 Nina. Oh, oh, no, oh it sounds like um, an imagine. Your oh. nip, sunshine. Why is it every uh, time I'm on this show, this you two get arrested? Yeah. <laughs> let anyway, us in. Should we'll, I let him in? You're, you're under arrest. Open the door. You're absolutely under arrest, mate. And I right. will fling myself against this door. Wait for it. Uh, oh, okay, oh, that actually um, really hurt my shoulder. 
Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Hi police. Police, it's um, Joe Ronchka here. Just checking. Hello. Just checking, am I under arrest? Uh, I don't know, Dad. Uh, I don't know. Are you the one, are you the one uh, operating as part of some sort of strange human hybrid cattle market auction? Uh, no, I'm just a guest on the podcast. That's All actually right. Ben. That's just Ben. Yeah, it's just All Ben. All right. Absolutely not. <laughs> well, then Ben, you're ben, nicked. Ben, you're nicked, mate. Can you put... Come outside. Put these handcuffs on, please. Wait, Ben, I've got an idea. Put your glasses on the cow child. <laughs> okay, we're just sending Ben out. Uh, okay. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm hello? so sorry, Hanlon. I'm so sorry that this is your life. <laughs> it looks like it hurts to be you. <laughs> now, kick him out the door. Ah! Uh, hello? Yeah, put these on, Ben. Your mate, your, your yeah. mate, Ben. Your mate, Bicked. Wait, ben. Your nicked, just in, mate. Just in case of anyone complaining, put on this half a cow mask. I am very, very uncomfortable with this situation. Wait, is that a human man? Looks like a scrawny, ugly man called Ben. Oh, wait. Sorry, my mistake. No, Ben's actually extremely handsome. It could never be him. I don't know where you got that information, Dad. Anyway, let's go. Nino, Nino. We're not in the car yet. You don't have to make the noises. How many times do I have to tell you, Bradley? I, I really right. want one, ti- one time us to get through the U2 selling crap segment without me potentially getting arrested. I mean, I really, I when I thought that you said, like, let's sell some crap, I really didn't think that it would take this sort of a turn where it's both bestiality... You know, parental abandonment, <laughs> and also the tr- human trafficking, but also cattle trafficking, which is also <laughs> quite a serious offence as well. So, I mean, I've been implicated in an awful lot on on this show, and I'm I'm a little bit unsettled now. If anyone's been listening, I've been John Gallagher. You can find me at one boardman on Twitter. Yeah, and I am Consuela Banana Hammock. Um, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm Neve O'Brien, and you can find me on Twitter at Kyofunkel. No, see, I put my, my name. name on this. But um, if name? you also oh, want oh, okay. to look for Joe, who was on here, um, go to at not Joe Ronchka, <clears> which <throat> is N O T J O E R A C Z K A. And you know what? If you're listening on podcast.com, go over to YouTube, search a piece of Reese, spell that the Welsh way, don't be an idiot, and subscribe to that channel too. As in the only way to spell Reese. Yeah. Precisely. Yeah, because the other way Thank is the need. idiot way. Yeah. Uh, I've been Ben. I I don't have anything to promote myself with. So, um, yes, sorry. All right. We'll see you. See you later, lads. Thanks for being on, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.